I think the other part that some people may not realize it's you're a student athlete, not mm-hmm. an athletic student. Mm-hmm. And some athletes uh, care more about the sport and don't balance out enough about the grades. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel that that's something you've probably learned throughout your college career thus far. Um, from Was it tough starting out knowing that you had to put your, put your face in a book and do your schoolwork after football practice? Yeah, it was, it was definitely tough. It was definitely tough. Um, you really, you really got to balance it out because if you treat one more than another, you're going to fall off on one another. Well, at least I am. Like, I, I always got to balance. Like, after this, I'm gonna, after practice, I definitely got to go straight to the books. If I don't, I'm going to get lazy. So, like, it's, it's really, it's really about discipline. You got to be really disciplined to be a student athlete, to be good in both. So, that's how I feel. And I think being a student athlete kind of trains you for life because there are times where you'll have, hypothetically speaking, you'll have a 6 a.m. lift, Mm -hmm. then you might have practice uh, class at 8 o'clock, 8 to 2, then you got to fit a meal in, and then you got to get ready for practice. Mm -hmm. And after after practice, you got to open up a book and do your schoolwork. So how how has being a student athlete in that sense helped you for life? it shows that, like, you know, it's going to t- it's gonna go farther than just football. You know, when you get a job, you're still going to have to do multi-tags with different things like family, job, things like that. And it, I feel like it really molds you for life beyond football. So that's how I feel like that. That's mm. definitely one of the things. And uh, in regards to schoolwork, uh, things may have been a little bit struggling or a little bit tough academically in the beginning, mm-hmm. but you made the dean's list the past couple of semesters. Mm-hmm. Just from that side of the the student athlete side how proud were you of that personal growth the fact that you were there are times you were maybe academic and eligible mm-hmm. for some part of your career to now where you are getting your school work done and you're excelling in the classroom it it made me uh, really proud of myself because i really never thought i could do it until i really focused and honed in on it because I, I remember the time i was ineligible you know times I didn't have like around like a 1.9 GPA and going from 1.9 GPA to having like a 3.3, 3.4 is a big difference and I was extremely proud of myself at first not even believing that I could do it like I, I can make thinking I was can maintain a C and stuff like that and I ended up making straight B A's and B's you know I really I really took pride pride in that right there what, what major are you um, exercise phys. Okay, exercise mm-hmm. phys- physiology. Mm-hmm. Uh, what made you want to be part of that major? Uh, just just seeing how the the body works. I always want to go into uh, training. You know, you, I feel like you gotta to to build on top of something like uh, say like muscles and stuff like that. Like I, I, li- I like bodybuilding and stuff like that. I just want to know what makes muscles what they are, what makes them stronger, what makes them weaker, how does it, how do things contract, and it's an eccentric consistency. I want to learn things like that. That's really why I got into it. I just feel like that's one, I kind of like a another passion I got, basically, other than football, on the knowledge side of things. That's one of the things I, I like to learn about and stuff like that. Mm. So if and when the playing career is over, could you see yourself either as a strength coach or an athletic trainer for a team someday? Definitely. I definitely can see myself doing that because, that, yeah, that's definitely one of my uh, main goals of my life that I would do on a uh, team. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, so not only transferring to Pembroke was it close to home, but Scotland High School uh, has a good reputation both in the state of North Carolina and this area, but there are a handful of Scotland uh, high school teammates on the mm-hmm. uh, UNCP football team. Did that help make things a little bit easier trans- transitioning from Shaw to UNCP? It definitely did. You know, uh, first coming here, you know, asking them, like, hey, what should I expect? Uh, how's the coaches? How's this? And, you know, they was telling me, like, yeah, man, it's a good fit for you, man. They're going to love you because they know what type of player I am, what type of person I am. Most importantly, they know I definitely give my all. So that they really did uh, help me out with this process and made it kind of like an easier road. Not so easy, but just a little, a little bit definitely did that. Mm-hmm. And with Coach Richardson being on the staff as the head coach, does that help you out knowing that he's more of a defensive-minded guy? Uh, yeah, because sometimes, you know, he comes down the team, he shows me what I can do better, you know, helps me adjust, you know, give me a, like, encourage me uh, when I'm doing stuff good and even when I'm doing stuff wrong. He's, he's very, criti- he critiques a lot critiques a lot and that's what I like about him because you know I don't 
always want to be told that I'm doing good, you know. Even the smallest thing is going to make me better, I, that's what, and that's what I want right there. And mm. I, I feel like he does that to make me perfect. So it's close to perfect, and I like that. That's one of the best things he, he's done for me since he, I've been here. So in other words, you always want to have something to improve on, yeah. uh, never satisfied? Yeah, definitely never satisfied, never get complacent. And never can get placing because there's always somebody else out there being better than who you are or trying to get better than you and stuff like that. That's how. And then at the same time, always hungry. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I, I love to stay humble. He, like Coach said, he always say, uh, tells me to be humble and hungry. And I, and I take that to heart because that's one thing I feel like I, I, I do. Mm. Every one thing I feel like I do. What is the biggest difference from high school football to college football, in your opinion? Uh, some guys are bigger, some guys are bigger, mostly, um, but it's definitely the speed. You have to adjust to the speed. Some guys are, are fast, or some guys are just big and fast, so you really got to prepare yourself and prepare your mindset to really adjust to that speed. That's really the number one thing. How long did it take for you to adjust to the speed? Uh. Probably really a couple games, uh, really, because I was seeing them dudes run the ball, and I was like, okay, I got to get my, my weight up, got to gotta condition, you know. I just got to get right. That's really what made me, yeah, them guys out there running hard and fast. Put dudes like 6'2", 245, running the ball and catching the ball. It's, it's different. It's very different. Very different. Your stat line speaks for itself. But what, when did you know that you were getting into a groove in the UNCP football program where after settling all the schoolwork down, you can just focus on playing football, having fun, and learning at the same time? Because I think sometimes for transfers, it takes a little, a little while to adjust. Uh, when did you start to get into a, gro get into a rhythm, get into a groove uh, after trans transferring from Shaw? Honestly, it probably had to be uh, my second year here, which would be last year. Uh, they put me in a position that, uh, to be a starter, so I, I felt like it was a it was an opportunity to uh, get my name out there. So it was just I had to put everything aside. You know, I had to make sure my grades was right. My grades was good, so I, I had time to uh, focus on the game more and focus on what team, what the team needed me to do, and what my position requires, you know, and just try to take care of my job the best way as possible. That's really one of the things I, I focus on. That's what helped me adjust, just taking things day by day. Mm. And I think what allowed you to separate yourself from your junior year to your senior year right now mm -hmm. was your junior pro day. Mm -hmm. What did you take away from that experience? Uh, really, what I took away, it, it's, it was a great opportunity. And what I took away from it, it was really some guys out there weren't really taking it that serious. And I and I, I tell you, I was very proud of myself how uh, how serious I took it. I went out there, you know, guys on their phone and stuff like that. I wasn't on my phone, you know. I was paying attention, you know. I was warming up, taking, going through my techniques and stuff like that. I felt like it was, I was in a great spot. Like it, it was a. It was a great experience talking to them guys, those NFL scouts and stuff like that. And they telling me what I needed to work on or what 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 was good about the things I was doing. So it, it was a real good experience because knowing that uh, I ain't never did nothing like that at all, and I, and for them to even recognize me was a blessing. So that was, that was a great great experience right there. And I and I think with experiences like that, uh, showcases like that, because our games aren't on national TV, mm -hmm. so. I'm sure you've heard the saying, if you impress one person, that's all it's going to really take. Yeah. Is that Was that your mindset afterwards? Uh, yeah, it, it kind of was. Uh, I didn't really know that it would start the ball, it would get the ball rolling like that, but it did. You know, I feel like, uh, how I feel, I feel like it's, it's a, a lot of guys out there that's better than me. You know, I feel like I always got to work on something. I, I just got to work on my craft at all times. But it... I didn't really think I would make it this far, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm very proud of myself, and, and I'm very blessed for what those guys are doing with me and looking at me and scouting me and stuff like that. Mm. I'm really blessed for that. Uh, how have been the interviews like so far with these different teams and meeting with these different guys? Because you're uh, going to be asked 
so many questions, mm. and I'm sure you've heard of mm. uh, the various tests at the draft and things like yeah. that, the odd questions. Mm. Um, just, I guess, going through experiences like that, uh, how is that like? It get real repetitive. A lot of <laughs> it is the same questions. That's just one. That's the number one thing. I mean, uh, that's how I just look at it. Uh, you know, still a blessing, man. I just got to keep looking at it. Because like, many people don't get this opportunity at all, you know. Uh, it's just... It's just different, you know. You sitting in front of guys that you don't even know. You got to tell your life story to every single one of them. Every single one of them. And they're going to pick at you, you know, ask you little things like, uh, what's up? How's your family? They know stuff about my family before I can even tell them and stuff. It, it's just real crazy. Like, it, it makes me laugh, man, because I, I never really thought that it's really like that. Like, what you see on TV some of the time is mostly true. And that's the crazy thing about it. Mm -hmm. But I think at the same time, if you're going to be asked the same questions mm -hmm. over and over again, in a way, you already have the answers to the yeah, test. Yeah, definitely. Definitely got the answers to it. Just, <laughs> just get a little tiring, but no, nah, it's still good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So teams like the Patriots, uh, the Jets, the Lions, the Cardinals, the 49ers, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a lot more, all 32 teams at some point will come out and see you. Mm -hmm. uh, while you are always focused on the week and the game at the end of the week, uh, during the week, um, what can you take away from this experience um, outside? What's going on with your brothers? Uh, I really try not to focus on it that much because a lot of people that's been in this position, I, I always hear about it that um, they get their mind a lot scrambled up. Oh, we got scout. I got scouts looking at me. I, I try not to get into that a lot. You know, I just take it for what it is. You know, oh, this is another guy it's just coming. You know, scramble my mind, try to find that about me. And I keep moving because at the end of the day, uh, we got a goal to win. You know, we got my goal is to play and to be the best player I can be for my team and lay it out on the line. But it, it, it's, it's cool for all that stuff to go around, you know, for us people to come see me. But at the end of the day, I'm worried about now because it's really things is not promised at the end of the day. So I really try to worry about what's going on now, uh, play these games, you know, scout, watch out for the scouts and all that stuff like that. Well, scout team, well, not scout team. Watching out for other teams and stuff like that, studying film, that's really the main focus right there.